All right, you got the Base Winner here, and I'd like to introduce you to Base Winner Crunch. And Base Winner Crunch is our baseball betting software. And the goal of Base Winner Crunch is to predict future performance. So at a high level, we use three core Saber metrics to forecast this performance. And the, the core Saber metrics that we use are expected ERA for pitching, runs created for batters, and defensive runs saved for fielding. And we've chosen those because based on the research of our team, we found that these are the stats that most correlate to future performance. You can see here, our team has advanced and expanded these numbers with our own opponent and park adjusted projections. So what we've done is we've taken past performance and normalized it based on these factors so that our numbers are more representative of each player's true talent. So you can see this is a hitter, this is Didi Gregorius, opposing talent park adjustments, and then we get his raw number. You can see what we do on a daily basis. This is Rich Hill for tonight. We take in all his raw stats and then we adjust it for opposing talent, uh, umpires faced, park factors, things that are important into that bottom line number uh, for each individual rating. So then we aggregate each individual rating by team and the result is four of our most important and predictive metrics and these metrics are uh, starter adjusted runs allowed runs and that's the SP number in the overview chart the relief adjusted runs allowed and that's RLF in the chart adjusted base runs creative and that's a combination of of our runs creative projections for the different categories home away and left and right, and fielding projections, which is the FLD number. So it is important to note that uh, within the model, the splits are adjusted. So uh, we have home and away splits, as well as right versus left splits. And this is essential to be able to adjust your projections uh, for each individual matchup. But as important as this is, it's just a warm up to the almighty pitcher rating. And this is perhaps the single most important rating in all of sports. And really only the goalie in hockey is even close. And we spend a great deal of time on our pitching ratings uh, and our starting pitching ratings, as well as our bullpen. Uh, we take into account strikeout rate, walk rate, and ground ball rate. And we found that these stats are the most correlated of mo moving forward and we've combined them into the base winner adjusted run number, which adjusts all these components for factors like quality of opponents faced. Where was the pitcher pitching? Was it a hitter's park or a pitcher's park? Who was umpiring the game? A pitcher's up like Bill Miller or a zone squeezer like Lance Barksdale? These factors are important and they really help us produce a true all-in-one pitcher evaluation number, which is this base winner adjusted crunch number. And we use the base winner adjusted run number for each team's bullpen. And we have a proprietary method that we evaluate each bullpen based on the starting pitcher. The top pitcher for each team has a different mix of bullpen than the, the, the fifth pitcher for the team. And you can see we, we take great detail in keeping these bullpen numbers up to date, current, and use the most correlative stats moving forward. So there you've taken a sneak peek behind the hood and these raw talent numbers are the weapons we take into the battlefield and the grind of daily baseball handicapping. Our software uses these figures to churn out a true odds money line and total for each game. So let's look at the overview page right now. I'll walk you through the most important categories here. And the base winner line is the money column. This is our true line projection for every game both the money line and total. And as you can see, this is a real tidy way to see which games have an edge and do it in a very quick and efficient manner. For instance, you can take a look at the Atlanta-Toronto game uh, from May 16th. We have a projection of minus 100, and the market was very bullish on Toronto. Well, we know how that turned out with another base winner win. And what we project is minus 100, so that's a 50% uh, win probability. But we always compare our line with the Vegas line on a percentage basis. And here's the percentage chart. Well, 50% or minus 100 is pretty easy at 100. 
but the market priced it at minus 165, which is between 62 and 63%. So we had a nice hefty 12% advantage. Market quickly came back to plus 125 as that play cashed. So that's a quick and easy way to do it, and you get that as a customer every day. The next two categories are the team total and adjusted team total. And the team totals are nice for the people who like to play team totals. And you can use that to get a quick look and see if there's value in playing the team total. So one of the things that we do have is this adjusted team total. And you'll notice it's always going to be the same for the road team. But the home team always has a probability that they'll win the game, whether they're favorites or underdogs. And that adjusted team total needs, so that needs to be adjusted uh, because they might not bat in the ninth inning. And uh, so we do that. And you can see that that probability uh, quickly. All of our clients can get that uh, so that they know, well, is a play valuable? Is a team total valuable? And we also incorporate into the projected uh, base winner total as well. And the next three categories are pitching categories. The role not so much important, but we're going to use it to see how number one pitchers faced against number four in a backtracking database, which we're in the process of developing. Starting expected innings pitch, this is important as the rating. If the guy, we, you need to know whether how long the guy's going to go and how long the bullpen's going to go. And then our starting pitching rating, which is a very extensive rating, perhaps one of the best ratings in all of sports and uh, we use the log cutter uh, to come up with that as well as our preseason projections both extensive processes and you can see we take all of the important stats of each start for each pitcher and that comes into the sauce that pro projects within our software and then we also do relief pitching expected innings pitched for relievers and the relief number which we've got a little bit of a touch on earlier on in the video. The fielding number is an important number that some people overlook when they're handicapping a game. And you can see we have each individual within the lineup uh, projected for their fielding, and 100 is average, and below 100 is better than average. And you can see we've done it for each team's lineup. And while I'm on the subject of team lineups, we keep projected lineups up to date on a daily basis for versus right and versus left-handed pitching. So that fielding number is going to be different if they're going to face left-handed pitching or right-handed pitching based on the individuals within the lineup. And we combine the relief number, the starter number, and the defensive number, or the fielding number rather, to come up with the DEF number, the defense number. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And you can see the next three on the chart all are offensive numbers. And you can see, we'll go back into the game a little bit, and we'll take a look at the Dodgers lineup. And you can see the Dodgers, each individual that's going to be hitting versus a left-handed pitcher is in there. And we have the away and versus left split. And we combine it based on a, a combination of their overall rating, uh, projected plate appearances, which is a unique factor, uh, a unique formula that we use. And we do it for both teams based on their lineups. And we come up with the offensive number on a scale of 100. Greater than 100 is better than average. So a 108 means we're very high on the Pittsburgh lineup, 8% better than average. And we are very low on the Philadelphia lineup at 95. And all of these numbers are precisely calculated into the base winner probability number. The ground ball and, and walk numbers, GB and BB, those are numbers based on our ground ball projections and walk projections for each team. And we, what we do is we combine them with the pitching uh, and defensive numbers uh, to come up with projected box scores for walks and ground balls. And we, these will utilize the, the walk and the strikeout projections in our fantasy projections. So the fantasy is a product that we have been developing for a couple years and will be rolling out here in the next month or so. And just to expand on the walk number, we also have walk numbers for the starting pitchers, the relief pitchers, the umpires, and the parks, the park factors. We fill, we fill the walk 
projection is a very important part of a narrowing down process for us. And we found that a lot of clients like to use it in a standalone or to combine with their own handicapping methods. The power number is the only number that's not scaled to 100, and that is the higher the better. Uh, so the teams with the higher numbers, uh, 3.7 Arizona has the highest power going in to today's game, and you can see how we do that. We've got a, a power number for each individual player. One means they're in the top 10%, 10 means they're in the bottom 10%. And the power number for Arizona, 3.7. We don't use that in the crunch projection, but we will be using this, again, for a look back database. So, you, for instance, you can be able to search for which pitcher does the best versus powerful team. So it's in the overview crunch, not just for display purposes and so that you'll know which is the most powerful team, but also for uh, research purposes in the future. And the next four columns are important factors. The umpire rating. Is a guy a pitcher's umpire or is he a hitter's umpire? This is very important in the total projection. And you can see we have rated uh, all the, we pull in each umpire that's going to uh, umpire home plate. And we have a rating behind the scenes based on their strikeout percentage, walk percentage, ground ball percentage. And you can see we, we rank him in order of hitters umpires to pitchers umpires. So if you guys are under players, you want to get Bill Miller. He's very important. And he's also important in projecting the line. So what this does is it automatically projects that in. And the park factors are very important too. If, if you're playing in Colorado, they're going to score more runs. And if you're playing at AT&T Park or Safeco Field in Seattle. So that's pretty obvious, but how do you, how do you uh, incorporate it from a precision standpoint? And our run numbers are three-year run numbers, carefully balanced. Uh, we have a, we have a uh, patented, or not a patented, product, but a proprietary process, an extensive process, so that we can, we can calculate these park factors into our run projections correctly. So then our, th our third column is, well, I understand base winner, you got great numbers and everything, but I just want the picks. And these are for the people that just want the picks. And we have a confidence rating and then a unit rating. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And you get that every day, whether we have six picks or one pick. So there you have it, the 10-minute review of Base Winner Crunch. I hope you found that enlightening and helpful. And uh, you can see how it could help you in your baseball betting endeavors. This is the Base Winner. Thanks a lot.